Hello and welcome, my name is Sam and this is the S33 Electrical Channel on YouTube. Today we're doing a video for all the beginner electricians out there who have either are going to start doing electrical work soon or recently started. Uh, I'm doing a tool video for you guys, just a basic carry that you're going to need every day on the job site. In the past we've done tool videos that have been more extensive and uh, you know for some of you guys I understand that that could be too complicated. So I wanted to break it down real simple just for the beginner electricians that are getting started. These are the tools that I would like to see an apprentice on my job site working with and I'm going to demonstrate to you today what you need to get started, what will uh, work for you um, as just a guy who's getting started. And if we turn the camera downwards you can see I got a basic electrician's tool belt. I got this at Home Depot. It's Klein's tool belt. It was about $50. This is a, a good tool belt in my opinion. It's lightweight and it seems durable. Uh, a lot of times when I'm looking at bags, I'm looking at tools, I'll go for what's lightweight and durable. You don't necessarily have to have this tool belt and this type of bag. Um, however, I do recommend both. This is a Fox Outdoors Mechanics bag. It works really well for uh, carrying tools. It zips up and um, this is basically what you're going to need. You don't need these, but you're going to need a bag and you're going to need a tool belt. Um, your tool belt, I think that depending on what you're doing, um, if you're with a smaller shop and there's a lot of, you're doing a lot of different things, you know, you can keep your tool belt kind of empty and you can uh, just kind of alternate between your bag and your belt, depending on what job you're doing that day and what you need, you can adapt. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tools in this bag one by one, just step by step, show you what you need. And um, we're just going to not waste much time, I'm just going to get right into it. These are your three basic hand tools. This is your Kleins. I recommend getting the Kleins with the crimpers and the fish tape puller. Uh, these are the yellow journeyman handles. You can get these online, Home Depot. Um, this is pretty much your go-to tool as an electrician. That's your Kleins. Um, or a technical term would be a nine-inch side cutter. But anyhow, we'll keep it simple. Uh, these are what's known as dikes, and they are a diagonal cutter. And um, I, just, I go with the journeyman handles, but you're going to need that diagonal cutter that has a uh, edge there for pulling staples or uh, clipping wires so you can pull it out of conduit. Good tool to have, dikes, um, and your needle nose. This is for grabbing things in tight place, places. So those are your three basic hand tools. Oh, no, we got one more. These are gonna, your wire strippers. This is an essential must-have wire strippers. Tin snips, another hand tool that uh, I think is necessary, especially if you're into commercial work. If you're doing more residential, it's not as necessary, but um, it's good to have them in your bag. Next is going to be your torpedo level, a razor knife, A tick tester, and screwdrivers. Um, just starting out, you're not going to need your Torx as much, so uh, this is the basic uh, trim screwdriver for your um, plates and finish outs. Medium base screwdriver. Number two Phillips head, five sixteenths nut driver, quarter inch nut driver. And here's a measuring tape. Keyhole saw for cutting she rock. You can go with the sawzall or a hacksaw um, or even both. I recommend going with the sawzall. I like port cable. You're going to need a battery and a charger to go with that. Your drill. Um, you really want to be fancy to have an impact, but if you're just starting out and you're not ready to do that, um, just a drill with a Phillips tip will be fine get you started. Later on as you go you'll um, get things like drill bits and stuff that you can work into here. But again we're focusing on the guy who's just getting started and the very basics. 
Um, also, I like, I'm going to recommend how to hammer and a pair of channel locks. You're actually going to need two pairs. And I got my second pair already right here. Um, if you really want to be legit, these are nice. This is nice to have cut and wire. Not so much necessary, um, but we we'll recommend picking one of those up if you have the means to do it. Later on, you're going to get into things like. Uh, I'm going to put this one in here too. This is your outlet tester. Later on, as you uh, earn earn your money and you want to invest in more tools, you can look at things like voltmeters, coming up with better uh, bags to hold your stuff. But this is basically it right here for anyone that's just want to get wants to get started. Maybe you're going on the job and um, you don't want to buy all the tools. You just want to have base the basics of what you need, and this is it. So just a basic electrician's tool belt a basic bag with all the tools in it and like that you're ready you're ready to go to work so i hope uh i hope this video turns out helpful to some of y'all um that's what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to help people um any way i can to put content online so people can get ahead and excel in their trade i wish you all the luck in doing electrical work again my name is sam this is the s33 electrical channel and uh, we'll see you next time on the next video. Thanks.